the same as this one. He wrote it in a piece of cloth, and he hang it on the bridge. This was the boldest protesting action that Chinese people have ever committed after Tiananmen Square massacre. And within 20 minutes, he was taken away by the Chinese police, and his whereabouts remains unknown until now. So what was um, what is on the cross was back in 2020, China still had all the strict COVID controls. So what he wrote was, we don't want PCR test, we want to eat, and we don't want control, we want freedom. We don't want lies, we want dignity. We don't need another cultural revolution, we want change. We don't want a leader, we want ballots to vote. And we will not be slaves, we will be citizens. The reason why we bring this here today is to remind everyone that we will remember him and we will fight for his freedom and for the freedom of the people who are captured by China under their injustice regime. October the 1st, which the CCP region marks as the National Day of China, we, we are the evidence that this country, this region, has committed atrocious crimes against humanity, regardless of your race, regardless if you are Tibetans, Chinese, Uyghurs, Vietnamese, Taiwanese, anyone. As long as, sorry, Hong Kongers as well. And in front. To, in, to counter their crimes and their brutality, we stand in unity. And our unity will be stronger. And we will not stop until the collapse of the CCP regime. First, we're going to begin. I usually don't do this, but I am going to take a few moments and tell you how I came to be here. I'm a crazy guy right now. I'm uh, hobbling around uh, with a hip problem, which should be resolved in the next two, three weeks. But throughout my life, I've done things that most people don't dream of. I walk and I walk sometimes for weeks and weeks. In 1990, in 1990, and this is mainly for you young people, I walked from Nepal to the Everest base camp. That was, I think, a little over two weeks, two and a half weeks. And what I saw was an enslaved people. To go from Nepal to the Everest Base Camp is to walk through Tibet. And I want to say this this morning again, because I've mentioned this before, but to the younger generation. Because what we're talking about here is something that I actually witnessed the horrible treatment by the Chinese people of the Tibetans. Not only do they take over their country, they take over their, took over their lives, enslaved the Tibetans. And it was something that has never left me. The passion that I have, and as most of you know, I've met with the Zodinus of Dalai Lama many times. The passion that I have has never stopped because things of that nature was never allowed to occur humanity, humanity is the only value in life. And when you don't treat life properly, then you have to stand up and you have to yell and scream, let the world know that these things are happening. And this is why I've been here basically all of my life. And I will continue to do this as long as I'm invited, as long as you want me for the rest of my life. Ladies and gentlemen, what the Chinese are doing is called inhumane. And yes, the uh, worst, I guess, uh, uh, offenses have been probably against the Tibetans, but they're doing it against the Uyghurs and others. And the world is watching. And other than a little bit here, a little bit there, very little is happening. Very little is really being done. This is why it's important that you continue to do this, and I'll be here as long as you want me, as long as I'm alive, 
to remind the world that China is still doing the same damn things that they've been doing since I witnessed them personally. I smelled them, I felt them, I cried in those days in 1990. So I applaud you for coming back, particularly the young people. And the reason why I went through this little spiel this morning is mainly for the young people, because what was happening then is still happening now. And ladies and gentlemen, I am not speaking from reading the paper. I witnessed it. So therefore, it is an honor to be here. I will continue to be here in support of your cause as long as I'm allowed. And thank you for inviting me. We stand united representing the voice of East Turkestan, Tibet, Hong Kong, Taiwan, pro-democracy ethnic Chinese, and Southern Mongolia. As we raise our voices against the Chinese occupation of our homelands and the atrocities being committed there, it's with, it's with heavy hearts that we come together today on October 1st to remind the world of the ongoing Uyghur genocide. A stain on humanity's consensus, consensus that continues unabated. The world needs to know that concentration camps have not been closed. Innocent Uyghur men, women, and the children continue to suffer within their uh, Confines, families are being torn apart as children are forcibly removed from their loving homes, leaving a trial of anguish and despair. Disappear. The horrors we face extend beyond the Uyghur people. Forced labor is rampant, exploiting the labor of innocent people who should be enjoying their freedom. Forced sterilization and organ harvesting are crimes against humanity, a dark chapter, chapter in our history that cannot be ignored. But we gather here today not just to shine a light on these atrocities, but to demand action from the international community. Canada is a beacon of human rights and justice, must stand firm, firmly against this injustice. We call upon our government to take a strong stance. Stop registering Uyghurs! Stop residential schools in Tibet and Uyghur! Stop residential schools in Tibet! Canada, stand up to China! Canada, stand up to China! Free Tibet, China out! Free Tibet, China out! Free Hong Kong, China out! Free Hong Kong, China out! Shame, shame, CCP! Shame, shame, CCP! Stop genocide in Tibet! Stop genocide in Tibet! Release the political prisoners now! Release the political prisoners now! China, hands off Taiwan! China, hands off Taiwan! Condemn hostage diplomacy! Stop political oppression! Stop political oppression! Stop taking our DNA! Stop taking our DNA! Human rights in China now! Human rights in China now! Democracy in China! Democracy in China! Our next speaker will from Federation for Democracy. Thank you guys. So I'm gonna invite the team of Peace Relay Marathon for Tibet. This year will be the fourth year. And they've been doing for, they started in 2020 when the COVID was in high. When everyone was kind of scared to go out, these young guys were the one who did a marathon in 2020, the first marathon. Shit, you want to talk in English? Uh, I will be translating what Sunny just said into Chinese. Um, so, Sunny, you just said, we're going to talk about a. 由藏人社区发起的活动叫 Peaceful Marathon for Tibet 就是他们会从多伦多开始 So our contest is going to offer by Senator and CTO President Okay, and Pamela is dependent on that? 
Every year they've been doing this. This is not like this is not the first time they're doing it. Ishila. Kusala Peda. Oh, 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 Last year, I'm pretty sure you guys remember, we started from here. Alright, thank you guys. Any Mima numbers of trans or the Kata UI in Ra, Crown to Pigasu Lapin Nangiri, and the Sarlanga Tessi Kalaho Chivitoa, and the Yimla Crown to Peace in the Madison Park in Nanda, Pigasu Tela. Oh, ane tamal lola ane sampai test bilai. Ane dia lagi orang tu ane bimam mangku je pesa. Minta bani tu je nolong saya. Ane orang tu kita lagi saya kian kau dia ane kalau ane tu tu siapa tu cari dua le. Ane kita ni orang tu tu orang tu ke mewi cik orang. Ane macam tu betul orang tu kita lagi tu tu mudah ni tu tu dia ni. ตั้งอารมณ์ตัวเองเนี่ยท่านท่านเลือกกันจิตเองมีมีแต่โซ่เดียวเนี่ยอ่าท่านท่านแค่นั้นแต่ชุ่มตาแค่นั้นแต่ม
Southern Mongolia. Free 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 So they should have was going to say in English, the fish. Alarming. We have witnessed report of forced labor, mass detention, cultural suppression, and the systematic denial of basic human rights. It is our moral duty to demand transparency, rigorous independence, investigation, and accountability for these disturbing actions. Number two, territorial disputes. The CCP assertive territorial claims, including their recent attempts to annex the parcel islands in Vietnam, pose a significant threat to regional such action disregard international norms and endanger peaceful coexistence among nations. To address this, okay. we must change peaceful 2019, dialogue, uphold the international two law, of and respect the sovereignty of, of all nations involved. Many of our Number three, global influence and censorship. The CCP growing influence beyond its borders to tactics Lock such as economic we are and attempts to no control more. narrative. Shame on China! Shame on China! Shame on China! So today, we have a very important thing. Not only do we need to fight for the end of the Chinese Communist Party in China, we also, as Canadians, we also need to be vigilant on our Canadian sovereignty and Canadian security. Yeah, I'm sure you've heard all the China inferences that are going through in our own land yeah. here. China, through its united front work, has created hundreds of empty shell proxy organizations in Canada. They are there to okay. infiltrate. So could you um, help us um, sign the House of Common Petition? Uh, this is for uh, urging the government to implement the Foreign Agent Registry. It is to counter the foreign interference in Canada, particularly China. Okay, so the deadline is October the 15th. Um, so we need a lot of signatures to help um, to help um, uh, us uh, urging the government to uh, to, to uh, legislate as quickly as possible. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. yeah. So um, you don't you don't need to be a citizen to sign. You just need to be a Canadian resident. If you are living in Canada, doesn't matter. You are PR. You are student permit, work permit, refugee claimant. Doesn't matter. Okay. As long as you are living in Canada legally, you can sign the petition. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, everybody, um, we have the heat petition running right now. How much I would check? And it's just a card in check number of the Kamala. Just a kid. Yeah, 